to uh, to all of the elements of the Green New Deal, which are just remarkable how extreme they are. I just want to put up a tweet from Elizabeth Warren that sort of uh, expresses why uh, she was not willing to vote for this. She said Republican politicians just tried and failed, again, to score political points at the expense of women. Enough. Women and their doctors should decide what is best for their health, not the Senate GOP. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, first of all, Martha, the most obvious point about that is that we're not talking about the woman's health here. We're talking about the health of an infant who has left the mother's womb and is alive on the earth. And whether that, whether that child should be entitled to the medical care that is required to keep it alive. Infants who survive abortion arrive in many cases and they're, and they're an extremist and they need medical help. And this is not about the mother's health. This is about an infant child's health in America. And f for her to say that is strikingly dishonest and misleading but you know this is a movement this this uh, the choice movement uh the, the abortion movement is is about euphemisms like that women's health reproductive health this isn't about reproduction or abortion and even and this certainly are not about reproduction they're about non-reproduction and what we're talking about here martha is is this what what the defense what the opponents of this measure are trying to protect protect is not really a woman's health it's a woman's ability, when an abortion has failed, to achieve the same result by other means. That's what this is about. Well, you know, it's, one of the things that strikes me, Britt, is that with Judge Kavanaugh in place now, it feels like this, this whole issue, because there's a fear on the part of people who do not want to see Roe v. Wade overturned, that there is sort of, you know, a, a creep in that direction that's happening in the Supreme Court. And then you see all of these states' efforts to, you know, to pass laws that will make sure that the state has the strongest possible laws allowing it. Um, you know, do you think that ultimately this issue, because it is becoming so front and center once again in our society, that it becomes something that the Supreme Court has to deal with? Well, that could happen certainly, Martha, but I think that in the near term, the question really is how central the issue becomes in the 2020 presidential campaign and the campaigns that go on around the country during that whole election cycle. And, you know, my own thought about what uh, uh, people who are in favor of abortion rights should be doing is that they should be willing to go along with restrictions on abortion that would bring the process within to the point where it's, as it's practiced, is approved by a majority of the public. By and large, we've had, you know, it's been close, but this has kind of been a pro-choice country for a while. I, that may be changing, and not in a way that the, that the pro-abortion rights folks want. And so I, I think that you know, there's a very good chance if, if, if these extreme practices, such as the one described by Ralph Northam that gave rise to this bill, uh, are in the imagination of the American public when they go to vote and this issue is front and center, I don't think that helps the, the choice movement at all. I think it harms it and harms the candidates who are so far out on this issue. We will see. Um, I just want to put up this one poll. That and I agree 100%. That shows the movement towards pro-life, 38% in January, 47% now. And it backs up the point that you're making, Britt, which is that the discussion of this that generated, uh, began with Governor Northam, and at least in this chapter, um, may be moving the needle on this. Time uh, to stop I'm all sure abortions. Always good to see you. You bet, Martha. Thank you. So that is the story on this Monday night. Let us know what you think about tonight's show. Email us your thoughts at foxnews.com. Be sure to let us know what city you're writing from. We will see you back here tomorrow night at 7 o'clock with more of the story as it, as it develops.